Hello, everybody. Welcome to Scribbles with Jonathan. My name is Jonathan Rector. You can check out my website and my work at jonathanrector.com. And uh, just to jump in right away, what we're going to be doing is just going through the steps of uh, creating a comic panel here digitally. Um, very quickly, uh, this this has been sped up, I think, 500%. Uh, I think this whole panel took 30 minutes, and we're crunching it down to about 7 here. And uh, right right away, you can see I'm just jumping into doing the tight line art. Uh, before I get into that too much, I just wanted to talk about what, what had happened before this. Um, I had done a, a thumbnail, which is a very small version of the comic page, and I blew it up to the proper proportions that it should be uh, on an 11 by 17 uh, piece of board, if that was if that's what you were doing um, traditionally. Uh, this is all done digital, so there's a file that I have that's a 300 DPI image file. That's 11 by 17. And um, and yeah, so I blew it up. Um, I threw in my perspective grid, and as you can see, that those are the lines coming from the left and the right. Um, I did a quick layer to draw some tightish line art um, for the main character or or Bill. Anyway, I don't know if he'd be the main character, but he's the main character of the image. And um, yeah, that's about it. And then I made everything blue, like you can see. And uh, right on the right there, I have a, a folder called Bill uh, for this character. And I'm working on a bunch of layers here, just doing the tight line art. And, uh, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect because I will be doing uh, inks and things over top of it. Um, but I like to do this stage uh, as, as close to finish as I possibly can um, with details and such. Uh, that, that way it takes a lot of the guesswork out. But I also like to leave it open so that I can get in there and do uh, some a little bit of freedom with the inks. And now I'm doing a contour layer, which is just a thick dead line over top of everything. Um, I had started with one and it was a little too thick. Uh, so I just dropped it down here and um, yeah, it's just basically an outline of the character so that he pops over whatever else is around him. And once we ink, we'll actually go in there and start to draw some of the lines <clears throat> uh, that connect the contour line to the line art, air, line art layer. That way everything meshes a little bit better. It doesn't necessarily look like it's just a, a, a dead line over top of him. And in this video, it's just the line art. I will be recording the inking um, of this panel, and that'll be in uh, next week's video. Um, but right now, we're just working on the couch. Um, just, you know, throwing in those details, like I said. You can see all in there, right in the little, uh, uh, the armrest part of the, the chair there. I've broken up some of the lines. And here, we're just, again, adding it. Um, just keeping the detail, you know, whoops, and there's a squirrel. <laughs> or a chipmunk, I should say. And uh, just working on there, just zooming out a little bit just so I can see what's going on. Here I grabbed the pen tool just so I get a nice smooth line. Uh, and I, dupl I duplicated it there because I'm going to add that um, blanket that he's got or, or quilt, whatever I, whatever's back there. And just erasing some of the lines there. Uh, just, just quick things. And, um, yep, just tightening up the line art there. And we'll go in here, just adding a little bit more detail to it. And again, they're just adding some folds and some, some broken down stuff. Uh, one thing I did, I should say, is there's quite a lot of just random dots, it looks like, that are thrown on there. And they're there for a reason. It makes things look beat up a little bit. It makes it look a little bit tired. This character has been through quite a bit. Uh, this is for issue four of the standard, um, a comic project that I'm working on with John Lees and uh, a few other cats. But... Um, yeah, this character's been through a lot. Uh, I didn't want his house to be perfect. Even if it was perfect, I would still beat it up a little bit just to kind of reflect that his personality is, you know, he's bringing it home with him. And uh, we don't see much of this character's home, so, you know, any chance I can get to uh, speak a little emotion or give some life to characters without, you know, just having to show them. Um, if I've got the time to do it, I would like to do it. And I definitely have the time in this panel and the room to do it, so... Um, he's actually going to be watching a television. This whole page, uh, there's a bunch of different characters at their home or someplace otherwise, and they're uh, watching the news kind of uh, that's that's happening uh, at at that time. So there it is. I just added a, another little extra quilt underneath of the the first one there because I thought it looked a little empty. And again, just doing the same thing we did on Bill there, just making another layer over top of it, calling it contour layer so I don't get mixed up. And uh, just, again, doing a nice outline. That way it pops over the background as well. And... Um, Really quickly, what I did there is I selected the contour layer and made a new or new fill layer that was solid white. And as you can see, because Bill is above the sofa layer, I can move him anywhere else and he'll block anything else behind him. This way I can always go back and reposition things if things aren't a little bit, uh, if I don't like the way they are, or if I need to make an adjustment or something. Um, once I do the final inks over top, it's a little bit harder to do that trick there. Um, it can be done, but it does take a little bit of effort. Um, and here I didn't have a perspective line that went all the way, so I just kind of kind of winged it, and we're just going to draw a quick window here, 
uh, just you know, random lines. To be honest with you guys, uh, there's a frame in there, uh, make it look like it's in perspective, like it's got some thickness there, so it's popping off the wall. It's it's really just straight lines there, just a bunch of jaggies. I'm gonna turn it into uh, a set of blinds. I kind of like the way they turned out, and there's some things I don't like about it. Um, I'm going to see, like I can, I'll, I'll always see this once I look at it. So once I get to the final inking of it, I'm not sure how much of it I'll change, if any, but. Um, We'll see if we go there. And there we just got that rod, you know, so we can change the blinds there. And um, this one's a little cool trick. I, I did this for the Hero Code in a video with you guys. Um, or it might have been on a live stream, I forget. Um, but I'm just going to put a couple pictures on his wall. And only one of them is going to have a, a picture of it. And uh, with Bill, he's very all about himself, you know? So I always find it fun whenever I can, especially when it's in his house, if I can have him with a framed picture of himself in his house. I think that's pretty cool. Um... Because this speaks a little bit more of the character, and that's kind of what I'm saying here, is if you can get other ways to show the character in there, besides their face all the time, um, their environment that they're in, actually speaks quite a bit of volume uh, about the character. Uh, so there I have, I basically just swiped the panel from a previous issue, I'm just adjusting it, um, and shrinking some of it. Some people might be able to pick up on it, uh, that's okay, it's not, it's not a huge deal, um, it's just there for the fun part of it there. Uh, so he's got his framed picture of himself, and just framing up the, the wall behind him a little bit, just to break it up. And then next, I think, I'm just going to draw his big screen TV, and that's going to be in front of him. Yep, here we go. And, uh, you know, TV is pretty easy to draw. It's, it's essentially, especially a flat panel, it's, it's a rectangle, you know. Um, perspective can be a little bit of a, a bitch to work in, uh, I'm not going to lie. So, you know, I don't want to undersell everything like it's so easy. And, you know, as long as you got perspective grids down, you know, everything's good. But the more you draw this stuff, the more easier it gets to you. Um, and, and there's little shortcuts that you remember. So it's not so complicated down the road, you know. Um, so, yeah, again, just erasing some of the stuff. And here, just random shapes down here for the framing of it. Um, and a lot of what's really cool about drawing, at least to me, is this kind of stuff. It's 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 organic, but it's not. Um, we've all seen big screen TVs. We have an idea of what they look like. I don't know how many of us are going to go into this detail that I'm drawing on the TV and get like really bent out of shape if it doesn't look 100% real. Uh, here I just did some black black lines for the wires and uh, selected them on a separate layer. Contracted the line art or the the selection by three pixels and then filled it with white, so it looks like it's just straight lines. Uh, it's pretty cool to do that with uh, wires and tubes. Um, and with that, I mean, this video went actually really quick. I thought it would be a little bit longer, but uh, the video is pretty much done. And you'll see me just uh, basically turn everything into white so you can see it. Stay tuned uh, next week or maybe even before then for the finished inks version of uh, this panel. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, and uh, we'll talk to you next time. Bye.